Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda and this is Tawanda's Blessed Life. And today I have four DIYs for you today. And these will be all DIYs that I will be using in my home for fall decor. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today's video. So our first, our first DIY, I have this face that I picked up from my garage sale for $2. And then I'm going to use some of this Carlon stone, um, of course, textured paint. So I'm going to give it one coat of paint. And then once it starts to dry, I went back and I started to add some of the, um, I use some blue spray paint. And then I also use some of the, so the Rustoleum um, Navy Blue spray paint, and I'm also using the Rustoleum Sand spray paint. So I gave it one coat of the blue spray, spray paint, excuse me, I can't get my words out today. And then once I, after I did that, and then I went back and then I gave it a coat of the sand spray paint on top of the blue spray paint. So the reason why I was doing this was because I wanted to go ahead and just have full coverage on the vase before I started to paint on it. And I felt like this would be a quicker way to be able to do that instead of um, hand painting the whole thing. So um, after I finished with the spray paint, I went ahead and just let it sit outside for about, I think I let it sit out for about a couple, probably three or four hours just to make sure that it was completely dry. And then um, I was gonna work on it later on that day, but then I just decided not to. So then the next day I went back and then I started to apply my paints. So this is what it currently looks like. And then I have, those are the different paints I'm gonna be using. So I have some, I'm gonna be using a plaster paint. I have some black, some of the um, navy blue, um, I just mixed a bunch of paint. So these are all the paints that I mixed together. And then I used some gold paint also. And I just started to dab it all around um, onto my vase. And so my battery did die, but this is what it was looking like. Um, I also used some of the brown spray paint. I mean, uh, some brown of, not brown, I used the um, burnt ombre so here i'm just dabbing it and i'm just going to dab those colors and just mix everything until i'm happy with my results and then um once i once i have this all done i decided it needed some more of the blue and so i did go back and do like some heavy veining type with the blue so you'll see that here shortly here and then once i was happy with how i felt it should look or happy with my results. I did go back and go over it with some of the um, Claire Waverly wax. And um, the reason why I did that was because I wanted to give it a little bit of shine because it felt like it had like, it was, it had a matte finish and I really didn't want a matte finish, but I didn't want it to be shiny, too shiny or too glossy. But I think it gave just enough to bring out the, um, the blues so um yeah so you'll see me here doing that and then i just wanted to say if you are new to my channel welcome thank you for stopping by and if you're already subscribed to my channel i would like to give you a huge thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers i do really appreciate you all for continuing to support my channel and watching my videos and sharing my videos and i really do appreciate it so on my channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs and hauls, with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. I also do um, social life updates and lifestyle updates. So if that is something that you are interested in, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And so this is um, what it is currently looking like. I did go back because I thought, oh, it's a little bit too dark. So I did go back and add some more to plaster. And like I said, um, if this is something that you're gonna do, you're just, want to just dab that paint on there until you're happy with the results that you want so i went back and i'm now i'm just adding some more of the plaster paint and then i will go back and add some more of the blue paint so after i added the um, plaster i thought um it was a little bit too much white so that's why i went back and added some more of the blue but now that i'm looking at it i actually kind of could have stopped um there and i thought I think it would have been nice also, but needless to say, I did not, um, but I am still happy with my results. 
So here I am just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And then um, this, well, like I said before, so this is me adding some more of the blue. And then, um, like I said, I was gonna go, I'm gonna go back and add some of that Waverly Clear Wax. So this is what it currently looks like after it was completely finished. I love it. And then I am, this is me just showing you that I'm going to go ahead and start to add the wax. So you can see that it has like a little bit of a matte finish. And then once I add the, um, the clear coat on it, the wax, it'll, it's just going to give it a, a little bit of shine. And I think it's just the perfect amount. So you'll have to let me know about, let me know what you think about this DIY. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And I also, most of these, all of these DIYs are um, DIYs that I use to style in my home for fall. So you have to let me know what you think. So for this DIY, I have this picture or vase, I'm going to call it. And this was a part of the Trash for Treasure. My neighbor had a shelf of items that she was getting rid of. So this is one of the items that I did grab. Um, I did do a video of the items that I did pick up. So I'm gonna take some of that plaster paint and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start dabbing it all over my vase. And um, this, uh, the sponge that I'm using has like some texture to it. So it also is gonna give the vase a little bit of texture. So I'm just gonna add that. I'm gonna give it, um, I believe I gave it two coats and then I set it aside to let it dry. And then once it was, while it was sitting there drying, I took these, uh, picks They came from, I want to say they came from Timu and I just thought I wanted them to be a little bit darker, more of the, um, the, um, like, a more a terracotta but a little bit darker than that so I did add some of the burnt ombre paint to it just to darken it up a little bit and I went ahead and just started to dab it all over my floral picks and then I'm going to go ahead and just show you um, the difference in colors from the one that I added the paint to and the regular one so I just wanted to darken up a little bit and then once it was completely dry I went ahead and added my I did go back and add some of the Waverly um, clear wax onto the vase and then I went ahead and added my picks and then I took um, some of the Dollar Tree lace ribbon and then some of this um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby this is my favorite ribbon to use and I'm going to just tie a little bow on the handle and that is going to be it for this DIY. Now I will say that I did use this vase to decorate with my decorate in my home for fall and I actually ended up changing out the florals and putting in something different so I'll probably just add a picture of that to in my reveal and then the pictures the um, florals that are actually in this vase I went ahead and moved those to a picture and on my um, um, dining room table. So, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and add a picture of that in the reveal so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so we're moving on to DIY number three. I have this coffee and tea um, containers. They don't have lids on them. I did get these at um, the thrift store. They're part of my $5 basket. So I went ahead and taped off the bottom because I like the, the brown on there. So I went ahead and I decided to keep it. And then here I am just taking some of the Waverly plaster paint. I'm going to use that same sponge. I'm just going to dab the paint all over both of my two um, containers. Well, I'm going to call them planters because I am going to plant some plants in them. And I gave it two, I gave them both two coats just to make sure that the tea and the coffee was, that you, that you weren't able to, that you wouldn't be able to see the tea and coffee that was um, imprinted on both of the containers. And that is going to be it for this DIY. I love the way that these turned out. So you'll have to let me know what you think. And I can't wait to see how you, I can't wait for y'all to see how I styled them in my living room. And we are moving on for, we, and we are moving on with our last and final DIY for today. So I have this um, milk can. This actually came from my mother-in-law's house. And then I have, um, some more of that orange and cream ribbon that came from Hobby Lobby. I also um, will be using a doily that I purchased from the thrift store. And then I have um, the flowers that came from 
I think these, I can't, these either came from Timu or from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place them into my milk can. And then once I have them placed in the milk can, I decided that it didn't do something else. So I added a couple of pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And then I added, um, then I added in a floral pick from Walmart. And, and then I put the lid, hung the lid on the side of the container. And then I added a couple of spindles. And that is gonna be it for this DIY. You have to let me know what you think about it. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. And that is going to be it for today's video. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I always say, be nicer, be kinder. God will love you for it. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye.